Hey guys, the Reverend Worm here with part two of my old server tour, showing off some of the things that uh, me and my buddies built on an old private server. And here I am at my Spleef Arena. I built this, and uh, let's see, current champion, me. <laughs> so yeah, I actually won the uh, spleefing championship against my two buddies uh, a couple times <laughs> and I think I was eventually defeated but that got rolled back in a uh, server crash <laughs> so <laughs> I guess you know I get the championship again and uh, it's just a small arena up here sort of the seating area if anyone was around to watch. You know, it's small enough. Well, it's big enough for three people to have a good time. I made the floor nether rack because it's really easy to break. And up here, yeah, a little jump there, is the uh, private booth. Whoops, let me get in there. With cake and a drink dispenser. And a uh, record player. So, you can sit up here in your private box and watch the match. The uh, arena was built over this area that uh, kind of errored a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we did have some problems in the beginning with chunk errors and uh, stuff like this happening. But we generally just left it the way it was. There's a layer of glass on the bottom, I guess. We, you know, if a chunk error happened, we sort of built in and around it. I made this nice bridge going over it. I do not know what happened here. Looks like it was probably something with World Edit. Alright, over here in this kind of small snow biome is my ski lodge. I started building this. I just thought it'd be neat. It yeah, the idea was a ski lodge, and I sort of, I really didn't have any great idea for it. I was just building a nice, big sort of house, sort of, you know, well, bigger than a house, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I, I had come in and built it all in one day, and, uh, then I went, you know, to bed. And I came back the next day and was going to work on the furnishings. And I found this. My buddy Jack, <laughs> after I had gone to bed, stayed up all night <laughs> and covered the entire thing with signs. <laughs> All work and no play make Jack a dull boy. <laughs> and I thought this was uh, pretty epic. You know, this really made the uh, made the place. I I had no idea what I was gonna do with it. I just built it for the fun of it, and then he did this. And, uh, and there's an attic up here, and he said he'd started on this, and then really started to actually go crazy so he uh he left it like it was but i liked it i thought it was awesome and this just shows you know one of the fun fun ways that uh me and my friends would grief each other on the server <laughs> even a couple times in here let's see back over here in the main area we have this the sacrificial altar of the ancient blood gods of Talon Morai free muffins muffins may be cursed <laughs> this is my buddy Jack's uh, altar and underneath I believe there's another portal but, uh, yeah, I think this was mostly just 
for looks. Yeah, or not even for looks, just for the sound, really. And I think you were supposed to come down. Yeah, that way. Anyway, uh, we had this server running before Nether was available in multiplayer. So, uh, yeah, there was no Nether. We tried a Nether plugin, and it was it was bad. <laughs> You know, we kind of had a lot of temples on the server, and uh, my buddy had his temple to the blood gods, his altar, and I had a temple of a different sort over here in this strange chunk error ridden landscape of perfectly square islands. I built this, and it was supposed to look sort of like a Greek style, uh, you know, mini. Acropolis looking I don't know what to really call it but I built it here in this awesome chunk that just I mean this is pretty cool I like it <laughs> when chunk errors happen a lot of the time because they just they end up looking really cool uh, I don't like it in you know main my main world where I'm, I want to build something nice looking but sometimes chunk errors do end up looking awesome so, uh, you come up here, and you find this. The Temple of Eris, Goddess of Discord and Chunk Errors. And, uh, this was my, my temple where I came and, and made my, my offerings. But, there was a secret here. If you, uh, go down to the Under Temple see the word Kalisti, open it up, and the golden apple, of course, if you're familiar with uh, Eris and that mythology. Going back in my tower here, uh, I didn't actually show you this part of the tower. Uh, this I had designed to be a ride, but as you can see, you know, it's uh, got the old style boosters, and, and these actually, uh, yeah, don't work now. And uh, I don't want to <laughs> upgrade this to the new new version. It's just that would be too much hassle for a world I don't really play anymore. But I am going to give it a good run through and let you guys see what it was like. I think I'll, I'll speed it up. Okay, here we are in the uh, spiral up part, and you know, I uh, had a design going on here that it really turned out pretty bad. <laughs> I was trying to do a sort of spiral, but going against the spiral that you were going up with the tracks, it's really not good. So, yeah, this really isn't a, one of my favorite things to show off. Ugh, it's not easy to maneuver in creative mode flying, but anyway, this uh, little roller coaster ride from my tower over there went all the way around underground in a cave and comes out here in my office. It's, uh, whoops that there. See? Urban Worm CEO Worm Co. I can't close this door for some reason. There we go. There's my secretary's desk, which is a little funky looking right now. And, uh, yeah, just a, uh, my office building. You know, Worm Co. is kind of a a thing that I, I made up a long time ago, you know, 
as a company name for myself. And uh, there's the snack machine, drink machine. Here's the copy room. Uh, bulletin board here. This is the copier. It's got the ink here. You put your paper in the top or sign, whatever you want to copy. Press this button and boop! Out comes your copies. <laughs> Let's see. The lobby area. Nice reading materials. Trash can. can throw away whatever you don't need. And it actually uh, goes out to the dumpster behind the building. And now, uh, for the last thing I'm going to show you on the server. This is another one of my builds. Um, just a fun little thing that I I always thought about building. Can you recognize it, perhaps, from a movie? Does it look familiar? <laughs> well, maybe it does to you. Maybe you've seen it in a refrigerator somewhere. <laughs> yes, this is my rendition of the Temple of Gozer from uh, the Ghostbusters movie. And yeah, I thought I did pretty well on it. It's very empty on the inside. You don't exactly get to see much of it. But uh, yeah, I've got a nice flaming altar here. These are supposed to be lit up, but they aren't. <laughs> I uh, had paintings here, but somewhere along the line these got changed and paintings won't go over those now. And uh, yes, the various names and aliases of Gozer. And uh, yeah, that's going to be all from my old server. The Traveler has come. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, all things nerdy and uh, Ghostbusters, I believe, falls in that category. <laughs> so I had to build my own Temple of Gozer. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be all from my old server. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed, you know, checking out some of the old things I built. Uh, still have a few more old world tours to show, but, uh, you know, I was just using them for a little bit of filler. They're not going to come quite as often. And uh, there's not going to be a worm's way today. You're just going to get this, if you were wondering. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to start probably posting those twice a week instead of three times and uh, hopefully if everything goes right I might have something a little different from you for for you uh, a little later. Hey chicken. Oh, a cave. A cave full of chickens. But yes, that's been my old server tour. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you hadn't checked out part one, be sure to do so. Uh, that's all for me, guys. Later.